Here we go, team. One pull. One pull. Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! Alright. Guys, listen. I don't lose 50-50s that often. You can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Whoa! Ooh, more cutscenes. Whee! Hey, I can fly! <laughs> uh, I'm kind of falling. Let's commemorate this moment. Oh my gosh, Firefly. You're winning me over. Ah, oh, that's a cute photo. <laughs> what? Come around here often. Look at those hips, man. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get into the tub together. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Any surprises? Dude, well lives for the drama. You seem disappointed. Of course not. Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. I got you, bruh. I, I know you want the adventure. Side, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Uh, I disagree. Pom Pom hasn't really done much for me ever since I got to Trailblazer level 70. All right, I'm sitting down. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. Please be seated and hold on. Yes, Pom Pom. The train is about Ooh, to make the jump. Five. Four. What? <sighs> the Velvet Room! Persona crossover? <sighs> Not another one. Oh. Come with me. Hi, Zila. Oh, what is this place? I know who you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that. Whoa! These questions. Her uh, chest. But I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Worry not, for very Goody. quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Oh, I won't Pay forget. Pay no mind, <laughs> for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. Why does she have the same boot set up as, uh... Freaking Kafka. So she has Kafka boots. She has Zila shorts. Zila uh, color scheme. And she has a coat on one side like Himiko. Ugh. So, come with More me. Boobs, though! I'll take Whoa. you home. <laughs> wow, fancy. This way. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even <laughs> possible? That's pretty stylish. Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? Oh no! Oh no, Akron, don't! Why not? Oh, that's sick. Now I am become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls. <sighs> you're funny. If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. Oh, oh, it's such a relief. I'm starting to remember that this game is like a intergalactic adventure and it's not about space China. Oh my god, we spent so long in this Yenjo. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, the characters from the Yenjo are really good. I'm just... I want more more character variety. The Let's Charmony see. Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. The Charmony? But if I can't sing, what 
meaning does the stage have? What meaning does the stage have, big bro? This fool looks like a VTuber. Oh, she's walking now. Ooh, that was actually pretty cool. All right. All right, Holyoverse. I see, I see you. We're here. Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps we have. Probably not. <laughs> Perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. I'll read text. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. So maybe we have met, huh? Oh. Foreshadowing? If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would, I would never want to live in a dream. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Bro, this is like the Matrix. What did the Oracle say? It's not, it's not that you are uh, making it a choice. You've already made it. You're here to understand why you made it. All right, all right well, the answer goes with that. I would blaze the tr a trail without hesitation. Yeah, that seems like the most heroic answer. I was, this is actually what I would say. Why would I? There's three options to abandon it. It's like they really want you to, to pick like a negative answer. Blaze a trail without hesitation. Yeah, put the hand over my heart. What you must do now is ponder its significance. <sighs> and then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> That's where we all find our answers. Whoa! Oh shit, I'm crying. Oh, so close. All right, my prediction. Uh, it was a prison at first, but then, much like the Matrix, they, they turned it into a hotel where they use like dreams to like control people and keep people contained or isolated from the outside world or something like that. Kind of like the Matrix. This give me big Matrixy vibes. Cutscene, cutscene. Ooh. Checking in. Please head straight to the concierge. It's the child from the dream. I just want to. I just want the, the dialogue option to call him a child. Working here on Penicone. I use a bellboy. to be at your service. I assume these kids have parents. Something about Ho Hoyoverse games where they treat kids like adults, like in um the Herd of Space Station. I'm sorry. But your name really isn't in the system. I knew it. I knew it. In the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Uh oh, something's the got Himiko frazzled. Four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March Seventh, and Himiko doesn't have a Mr. last name. Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Aha! <laughs> and yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung, reporting for duty. It's not like you can ask me for ID or anything. Don Hung. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. I... Even if that is so, I'm afraid... So, Architects Lance? 
Oh, you got is there a problem? Well here, why don't we take a look at my lance? I'm not doubting your status. It's just All guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Alright. This guy is a VTuber model. He's got a neck tattoo. He's got purpley fuchsia eyes. And he's got an upside down heart. Uh I don't know, it just shows his cleavage and some fur. This is a VTuber model. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express. Please do not make it harder for her. What? We are sorry for all the trouble our check-ins. Don't apologize to this fool. <laughs> Can I ask for your name. I am uh. the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department. I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Oh, please. It's not like there was a line. To me. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm skipping this full. This I'm guy sucks. <laughs> this way. So I am pulling this guy. Oh, wait, I got some gems. Five gems. Nice. Ten gems. Is this enough to pull? Oh, it is. Okay, ready, ready. All right, gang. Yeah, this is it. Single pull of Andy right here. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Uh, I guess I'll continue with the story. Wait, can I talk to you? Hello, friend. How have you been? I sincerely hope you don't mind. I do my mind. apologies for any perceived slight. To show my sincerity, <laughs> I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. 10,000 credits? That's a freaking daily reward. That's better. Sick. 10,000 credits. I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is, oh, Robin. No. To run into her in person here. This is also a VTuber model. <laughs> to meet everyone. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Is, so is there something wrong with her audio? It's like little bits of her, her dialogue is fuzzy at the end of her sentences. Did they mess up during her recording session? I sincerely apologize for yeah, right the pleasantness during Th your There stuff. it is! On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Hmm, that's better. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Nah, well, Please don't worry about rest it. Rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. The Dreamscape Pass is an application automatically installed on your phone. Hey, 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 I didn't consent to that. I'm trying my best to be as free to play as possible. I, I pay for the, the battle pass or like the name. What is this called again? The Nameless Honor. That's the only thing I pay for uh, regularly. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Hmm. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Well, how about a drink first? Pentaconi's Soul Glad is very famous. Oh, Himiko wants a drink. On. We may be thinking of the same thing. Hell yeah, Welt Do is down. The Get this fool out of my room. He's. We meet again. Yeah, because you're in my f***ing room. This is my room. What are you doing here? <laughs> you have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Paul. You need to leave. I don't care about your, your shit. Oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. You should really be going, Buster. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Well, I just said get out of my room. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the door. Keep walking. 
Don't turn around and talk to me. Oh, yes. Before oh, I go, you bitch. Let's <laughs> play another game. Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? What the hell? Your room. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. <laughs> okay. Starting to like her already. Well, actually, I liked her earlier. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room, too. Hmm. <sighs> Please, relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. That whole description beforehand wasn't needed if there was going to be a cutscene. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a... I knew it was a bad idea. Oh. Ball. Oh, I'm dying. Ooh, more cutscenes. Whee! Hey, I can fly! <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm kind of falling. <laughs> Oh shit! What's that? Nice. What? Happened? what? Huh? Oh, I'm alive. Uh, hmm. uh, are you all right? Uh. Are we in heaven or? There's nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. You can text message in here? That's weird. Ooh, that looks really cool. It's like Halo. I'm looking at the sky. I'm not trying to look up uh, Jing Liu's skirt. Don't get any ideas. Okay, let's go, Black Swan. Ah, okay. No! Oh, wait, I already got this full. It's with all these kids skipping around in here. I don't think kids should be inside the dreamscape. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Ugh. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Pentagoni. Nice. This place is huge! Alright, here's, I guess, the... Whoa, look at that! <clears throat> Not gonna lie, this is kind of what I would have pictured. Like a dream world. All right, all right. Hoyo versus cooking. She went that way. Get her. What? What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Don't even think about running away. <laughs> NPC you bitch. Stole away. Look, it's like it's the main character from Zen Zone Zero. Ooh. <gasps> Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. All right, hold on. I need you to stop right there. I think you are like an improved version of March. <laughs> Eyes doesn't sound annoying and very pretty. Hmm. Can we swap them? What happened? Who are you? How can I help? I'll do my best to protect the pretty young lady. Hey, how can I help? How can I help? Hmm. Hey. Hmm. How can I help? She has an accomplice. Now we can nab them both in one go. Nice. Oh, we're fighting! <gasps> oh my god, that only took like five hours. <laughs> our flame. All right, dead. All that exposition was like lengthy. That's enough, boys. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? <sighs> Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. 
And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <sighs> He's so cute. I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. <laughs> well, my help doesn't come free. Galactic baseballer at your service, milady. <laughs> You're funny. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. By the oh. way, I've just noticed. Getting points. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? Just notice. How do you how do you know I'm a nameless? I'm not doing autographs today. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the second one. Are we really that famous? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> when there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Black Swan right here. Watch, watch. So bitch. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream? Hunger is the most precious spice. No. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies <laughs> here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Soul Today glad. it's my treat. Oh, how nice. I do have very expensive cheese. Oh, you no shouldn't worries. Have. You can buy me a meal next time. Look! What is this? That's the statue of Clocky. Penacony's famous cartoon character. Oh, Clocky. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Holy shit. Isn't a, having a clock as a character a bit ominous? Ominous? <laughs> Clocky is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? Oh, now, this shit. is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. You know what? You're just spouting kind of, like tourism stuff, but I don't mind it. I kind of like listening to her. Hmm. I should keep my guard up with this girl, though. Hmm. But she's so pleasant. I say we start with the easiest games. I want to gamble that shit right here. Lucky wheel are Damn, gotcha within a gotcha. Let's go. Super big prize, let's go! Big money, big money, big money! Shit's rigged, dude. Big one! Shit! I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. Oh, didn't belong here? I've grown very hmm. fond of this place. Are you really a stowaway? I... I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? I am, at least I know. It depends on what you want to do. <laughs> I'm so curious what this answer is. Hmm. It depends on what you want to do. Well, someone's been following you. Don't oh. turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Oh, she's based. <laughs> he looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. <laughs> this fool! I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Ah, he's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the trailblazer guy. <laughs> the trailblazer it's guy, this fucker. Long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. I can't be dreaming, can I? You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacony. Of course you're in a dream. 
<laughs> oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? <laughs> After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? See, I was right. He does. See, I I think Firefly is like a a cooler, cuter March 2.0. Oh, wait, I'm not sure she wants to be introduced, so I'm just gonna say, you should get your eyes checked, buddy. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? My name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Okay, she introduced herself. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I could do much better. <laughs> <laughs> entertainment for grown-ups? Let me give you a taste of the adult world. All right, hold on, hold on, guys. Sampo is on to something here. Are we going to the red light district? The dreamscape red light district? See your town. This the is town. no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Why does this salon have kids? Ugh. Uh, yep. You and your weird thing with kids. I don't think uh, girls are allowed to not have heels in uh, Hoyoverse games. <laughs> Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun. If you know what I mean, the one from last night would be perfect. Um... What's going on? <laughs> it's ready. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. This is full up too. Huh? What? What is happening? What's happening? <gasps> Oh no, my fallen brethren! No! Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Such a tragic scene. So tragic. Oh, so many have fallen, and for what? Didn't they say the Garbage King would wait for me here? Uh, have I been set up? <laughs> oh, what the f this mother <laughs> No, he can't keep getting away with this. Firefly, do you mind? We're in the middle of a battle! Ah... Uh, she always does this. What? A bummer? I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. <laughs> You're the real Garbage King. I'd easily finish him off with one punch. Yeah, that's right, Sampo. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. <laughs> I feel like Sampo is like a hidden good guy. Later on in the game, it's going to reveal that he was on your side the whole time. But I also am kind of curious, like, what's his motivation? Like, what does he want? Whoa, nice. He wants to steal Ron. I knew it. I'm sorry. I want to know the truth. Is that too much to ask? I want to be nicer. Firefly, you don't have to apologize. I don't find you suspicious. <laughs> Thank you. There are things... I'm hiding from you. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not a local. Yeah, and there's I, I, a reason I knew that. why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. Mm, okay. <laughs> But still, I, I appreciate your help. I didn't even have to ask her to join me. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. She's not going to be a real person. She's just a figment of, of my dreamscape imagination. 
Oh no, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I really love that kind of life. It's not as great as you think. You can, you can board the Astral Express too. Yeah, let's go straight for it. Let's cut to the chase. Come aboard, join us. Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another <gasps> tourist attraction. Oh. It, it's my very own secret base. Your little and I'll hideaway. Do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. All right. Thanks. I believe you. What is this? Oh, <gasps> rewards! I love rewards. Yeah. All right. Here we go, team. One pull. One pull. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Guys, listen, I don't lose 50-50s that often. Fuck! No! Oh, shit. Oh. I'm refunding this game. Uh, I, I, I think I recovered. I recovered from that pool. I'm restarting my pity to zero. Yay. Things will get better, won't they? No, they won't, Clara. Because now you're E1. <laughs> I was content with keeping you at E0. Uh, I guess I'll just keep playing the dumb game. All right, Firefly. Oh yeah, we're going to your secret base. Let's go this way. Oh, no. Someone's dying! Please come here! What's going on, dude? Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Mm, is there a problem? Oh shit! <laughs> Nothing. It's inconsequential. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha. Oh shit! Oops. I I haven't introduced myself. I didn't acknowledge that I see you, dude. I'm a famous celebrity in Panacone. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. You know, he's not as insufferable as I expected. Clocky, how can I help? I'm at a point now where, like, nothing is surprising me. I mean, my character, if I'm trying to RP. So I'm just going straight for the questions. How can I help, Clocky? Clocky? Yes, Firefly, don't interrupt me. <laughs> you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. Yes, I saw um, him. Where is he? I, I can't see him. I know you can't see him. Because I'm the, I'm the crazy I'm one here. To those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray. What that implies is that she is devoid of innocence, kindness, or honesty, or... A combination of all three. <laughs> I said that without reading this. All right, he said, he said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. Just how so? <laughs> Would you like to be earlier? My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. You know, I mean, I bag on the on Misha because he's just not a character type that I'm fond of. But he was nice to me, so I'm not gonna be mean. He says someone's life is in danger. Oh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this, um... Clocky? That only you can see? Hey, don't make me sound I don't crazy! I lying. As anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Okay, she's being tick nice tock, and, and uh... Tock. Hurry up and follow uh, me, great friend! Yeah. She's Misha's being nice. He's over there! Let me bring you to him! Everyone, please stay calm. Uh-oh. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay Gangster the boss. Punish him, 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 boss. <laughs> nice. How did it come to this? Hey, Acheron, what's up? I knew I'd meet you again. How come they all know? How come they are all people I know? <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall, are we? What? 
do you mean by all? See? I wasn't blind! Misha hey, really she looked down! Oh, he said that was a mob boss. All right, my baseball bat can't wait to show its might. Baseball bat isn't an efficient weapon. No, no. But what I mean is, we can't solve this problem with violence. She just called me out for my baseball bat not being good enough. Well, to be fair, I would probably bring out the lance. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. We're no longer a family. <laughs> the club. He's growing. This guy's growing on me. I thought he'd be kind of like creepy, you know. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. The, this, my gray friend. The, if you could do I that, then why do you need my help? Assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. Ooh. After all, you're the special one who can see me. All right, let me RP walk in there. All right, gang. Your boy's rolling up. All right, gangster Mind boss. Your own business, lad. I have to let you that call him lad, chump. With the wrong person. Here, here comes the clockwork. <laughs> Oh, use your clockwork to tune this person's emotional state! Finally, make your confirmation here! Tick tock! Alright. <laughs> I don't think happy would be there. Right. Did he say to do happy? No, no, no. let's calm him. Gangster's, gangster's boss emotion has been tuned to calm! Click anywhere in the black area to continue! <laughs> What got into me just now? Oh shit, dude! I got I got superpowers. That's wonderful! You did it! Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? Yeah. What's wrong with the boss? What's wrong with the boss? What's wrong with the boss? Hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I I wasn't my normal self. Hey, boss. It's the least I could do. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we'd laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. <laughs> That's I'm such so a sorry strange for name. Stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all uh, of a alas? sudden? Alas, it's, it's baffling. Mobsters don't say alas. <laughs> hey gang, gang, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? That's right. Um, sure. sure. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Get on sure, your knees sure. and beg for forgiveness. Ready? Go! We're truly sorry for the trouble we caused. Yeah, we're truly sorry for the trouble we caused. They look really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? <laughs> All in a day. <clears throat> All in a day's work. He's an esteemed guest. Wait, he can see it too. Recently. I told you about him before. Is this lady your friend too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before. But he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure Ooh, to meet a winning. you, beautiful lady. Oh. The beautiful lady. <laughs> By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? Could it have something to do with that uh, clocky that only you can see? Clocky? Yes. Oh, come on, Firefly! Don't make me look I uncool in front of Acheron. In reality? I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. Oh my but god, be cool, Firefly! Honest people with childlike innocence can see him. Ah! <sighs> oh my gosh. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. No. If she's, really she's just exists, kidding, Akron. Don't listen to her. A lot of things. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. 
Oh, oh, we are oh, so in, boys. We're not on a date. Oh no, we are so out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> the music in this place was actually really good, and I do like the uh, the clock ticking to keep the time. Star Rail, you are impressing me. On the rooftops. Sorry, whenever I swing up, I'm just trying to look up at like the stars. I'm not trying to look up any skirts. Just, just like trust me. Wow, this is really pretty, and the music is so, uh, it matches it so well. How beautiful. <laughs> Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless, and me. All right. I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. <laughs> like, they'll say, like, Han Solo. I know. I knew I couldn't hide it from you. <laughs> My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar refugee. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. Oil versus in this cooking. splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Panacone, but... Some have dreams... That are no different from reality. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. Okay. Firefly really growing on me. What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? Oh shit. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. Yeah, okay, so what is this Penacone's Mara struct? So although this world isn't real. This experience is priceless. Just like this moment. You're not about to like introduce this really awesome character only to give her a disease. There are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. Go on. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. I mean, I have no allegiance. Yeah, sure, let's just f***ing get it. Who cares? I, no one- none of this means anything to me. Okay, I hope so too. Thanks. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times, why didn't I think of taking a photo? Would you like to join me? Let's commemorate this moment. Oh my gosh, Firefly. You're winning me over. One. Two. Is it going to be a cute photo? Say cheese. Ah, oh, that's a cute photo. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. No, I don't want to leave Firefly. Do you have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. Come on, let's say goodbye at Golden Hour. We meet again, my dear. Uh oh. <sighs> it looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? You're just so blind. 
Oh no. Careful. Ample. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Ooh. Ooh. This brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? I don't know. Sample's making me you suspicious of her now. Oh shit. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. Starting to, to, to get a little feisty. From your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? I'm really, really disappointed in you. What are you saying, brah? Uh oh. <sighs> <laughs> um, excuse me. Why don't you rest, rest for a little while? <gasps> Inside the real dreamscape. What the? F <laughs> oh. Where'd she come from? Was it her this whole time? Uh, this... What is this place? So you're really here too? Well, I we're dead. don't know. Oh, she doesn't know! <laughs> in any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said, the real dreamscape. He's not my friend. <laughs> I should have been wary of him sooner. Sorry. It wasn't him, though. The family must be hiding something. I'm kind of just going along for the ride because at this point, this is going over my head. It's a dream within a dream within a dream! Oh, that looks like a trap. Uh, just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. <laughs> Should we open it? Doesn't look like any of the doors open. All right. Here we go. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. So creepy. Uh-oh. But since there are so many doors here, <laughs> we should be able to leave through one of them. And your TikTok, that's, that's creepy. This way. Oh, scary! Oh, the TVs are so bright. It's hurting my eyes. Careful. Something's up. Scary. Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared me. Oh. I kind of pulled out my what bat is for this. this. Monster? No, I don't have the. Oh wait, I do have. It. You're too good to me. Where's the doctor? There's more to life. What the f***? Oh. Okay, I get it. May I get well it. Kill them all. <laughs> good times, never. Left. Time to say bye. Boom. All right, just hit her one more time. All right, perfect. Stay away. Say bye to breathing. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Nice. Still oh. No. No. Get your hands off of her. It. It's her. If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. 
Holy shit. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> She's just sitting on top of the TV. Easy girl, I'm on your side. You can Black. call me the memo keeper. Black Swan. Black Swan will assist allies in battle. Click here to use the Ethereal Cradle. Alright, cool. Okay, that was just like an attack. Uh let's heal her. Thanks. You're too good to me. Good times. Never last. Time to say bye. Boom. Easy. Good times. Oh. Time to say bye. Boom. Freedom. Oh, you're so close. Somewhere. Answer me. There you go. See you next time. Whoa. <laughs> that was badass. You're awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. Oh shit, and I woke up to uh, another nice dream. How was it? Did you dream of me? <laughs> no. Oh, did you save us? I didn't do much. Just helped you leave the memory zone. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie, though. the safest and most familiar place you can be. Firefly, did she make it out? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death. Started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. <laughs> I know you've many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Before that, you should let me pull you so that you could be a part of my team. Could it really just be a coincidence? Uh, I've got a funny feeling about that lady. But she Ooh. did find and save him too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. Oh. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. Wait, I was. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Oh, so you're Himiko's friend. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the remembrance. She gives me uh, Kafka vibes, except like nicer she's like a gentler like she, she has the same kind of eyes hmm that makes me not trust her too much but she did just save me all right let's see what happens i understand but before replying we must first discuss this among ourselves yep naturally take your time her hips holy shit. where's firefly though March is here. I want Firefly. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's right. a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. These guys. You know what? I got a both Welt and Himiko combo. Dude, I, the, the nameless are in safe hands. These guys know how to remain alert i like that be skeptical and she can tell there's misdirections i knew it and this is, that Sam? is what i received i've sent it to you open it and take a look Ahem. can you hear me <laughs> astral express it's been a while how's pentagony why does she have a <laughs> she has a gun <laughs> Get straight to the point. Hey, she has a name, Mark. I've been March. investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Pentagoni. 
Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about the so-called beautiful dream. So, uh, is, is Delaron Hunter's honor set? obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Those Delaron Hunters, why? they even factored Penacony into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. This message is the a message threat. Is. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. This message is a threat? Hmm, I don't know. I kind of feel like... I mean, they have their own goals, but I've never really seen Stellaron Hunters as a threat. I'm, I mean, I don't want to tell the family. I don't trust the family. Why would I Why? why, why would I talk to the family? I say, what if if the family asks, there? just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. So then that means we we're going to tell them that the Stellar Run Hunters Let's are here. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. All right. Let me go ask this lady if she'd like me to buy her a drink. Hey, there's pretty lady. Come around here often. Look at those hips, man. I mean, Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. Oh, oh disappoint, guys! Okay, return to your own rooms. Ah. So you accepted my invitation to come into my room. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Oh. You're not returning to your room? No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get into the tub together. Back in this familiar room. This way, darling. What? Did you just call me darling? Oh, we are so in. Ah, <laughs> uh, her. How is this possible? Oh, 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 they gonna fight. Are there no staff members here at all? This is a big old flap. Huh? What are you doing here? You yes. know each other? She's the memo keeper I mentioned. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Yeah. It's a long story. I fortuitously, as he should remember, became friends with some of the bloodhounds and was helping them track down a wanted criminal. Except I ended up here for some reason. You aren't hiding anything, are you? God, this is the battle hiding. of the boobs. I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I'm gonna be, do I want to be cheeky or do I want to say something directly to Akron? I'll be cheeky. Is that so? You're good then. What sort of training did you have to undergo? Can you teach me? Oh no. He's she's kidding. Dumb. He can't do it. Uh, yes, I can. Timely. Don't tell me I can't. Dreamscape do. is fraught with danger. Hmm. What do you think? Be confident. We can trust. Thank that. you. I'm truly grateful. <laughs> Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. <laughs> Interesting dynamic. But where's where's Himiko in March? Well, shouldn't be a hindrance. I thought to we were supposed to come here truth. together. Looks like we'll have to think of a way to walk on the ceiling. We're standing on the ceiling right now. Miss Acheron's words speak sense. Regardless, we have to reach that flat ladies, surface ladies, hanging let's overhead. Not, let's not quarrel right now. And we're not scaling this. the pillar, of course. Oh. <sighs> <Canteen. sighs> <sighs> <sighs> hmm. 
Oh, they're both jealous. No! What? Sorry. Oh my gosh. Holy shit, I fucking knew it. I knew she was gonna die. You you alright? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be like emo. This dream <sighs> Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. Alright? Comfort Allow me. me, my ladies. Relax. You'll be fine. I don't care about myself. That wasn't real. That was too sudden. I'll leave him to you, Miss Acheron. Mm. No, I need both of you ladies to comfort me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bye for bye. Happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. Wait, no. Is it real? No way. I don't know if Hoyo versus that gutsy to actually kill her off that quickly. Dang, I'm bitter. You didn't even draw your blade. Why? <laughs> No, it's not her. Not her fault. It's not your fault. But if in that moment I chose to draw my blade. <sighs> Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. <sighs> Let's go. I don't believe that she's dead. They did try really hard to get you to like Firefly. I feel like that's like intentional. I'm so sad, so very sad, Miss Black Swan. Please, can you comfort me by joining my team? Please. Can't believe you do this to me. Oh, they're really driving it home with the soundtrack too. Damn. Careful. Is he just radiating? <laughs> Jealousy Ranger and a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else all of you will die here. Oh shit. The detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Implementation. <laughs> Need I teach someone a lesson? Stand still. Oh shit. I have Kafka fighting him. <laughs> Interesting. Existence is unity. I will set the seas ablaze. Once you're back in the real world, remember to tell everyone about the Stellaron Hunter who was behind your ultimate departure. Execution oh. Oh, underway. You're too good. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll oh, script the loss. <laughs> oh shit! Leave the dance stage to them, my dear. Oh, we don't get to see. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, I'll get this punk. Show. Ah, shut your f***ing mouth. <laughs> well, thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. Why don't you go back to Niji Sanji? When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. <gasps> Our transaction is complete. What? You two are in this together. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you from that galaxy ranger. What? Right. What is going on? <laughs> She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Ooh. Possible, I should. That sounds naive. No way. Acheron was there at the scene. It couldn't have been her. I don't know. Let's, let's go with that. <laughs> You're kidding. Oh my. This just got even more interesting. Yeah, you shut your mouth, adventure. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Yeah, the trailers. Ifrit? But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Just f***ing tell me. Because Ifrit is dead. What? Okay. You're, you're, you're hitting me with way too many twists, as I expected, just because I want to throw them in the loop. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. What? Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Penacony, checking into the hotel with only a music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? No, I just need to shut up. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon. Uh, can I really believe Aventurine? Well, what do you have to say for yourself, Miss Black Swan? My, my. You look like a small, injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Hey, 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 no need to have attitude. You betrayed me. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. Hmm. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. The remembrance do doesn't lie. Do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential, and that's not a lie. Are you willing to bring me out of this memory zone? Why, of course. But now is not the time. How would I know you're not trying to frame me? No, I, I trust Black Swan. Everything she's saying right here seems truthful, so I'm going to say, you're right, let's go. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer, one you can't refuse. <laughs> oh! Oh shit! No reason to choose otherwise, and no other choices. <laughs> oh my gosh! What the f Damn. Honestly, I actually didn't expect it to be um, end on a cliffhanger. 
I thought they were gonna complete this whole arc. It's so sad. I like where the story's going. This is definitely a step up in terms of stakes and complexity for the story. You know, especially if you compare it to Bellabog or the Cienjo saga. Like it's, it feels like they're really kind of pushing the envelope. Um, assuming that those characters are dead, like they're actually killing characters off. Like at this rate, is Ting Yun actually dead? I didn't think they would actually kill her off. I definitely am looking forward to what comes next. Keep at it, keep cooking. My prediction is that Firefly will come back. Uh, I think Robin is actually dead. She seemed very insignificant. So I don't think there's any reason to bring her back. I still don't like Aventurine. <laughs> but as much as I hate that fool and that kind of that kind of character, I do I appreciate he's kind of fleshing out the spectrum of characters that this universe has. Because in, in the Cienjo, there's a lot of samey characters. But now that we're in Penacony, like now we're like in a den of like backstabbing characters who have their own motives. And so this is it's almost feels like political. Um, and I find it very intriguing. So, this is a good update. I like it. <sighs> I'm so sad. I like Firefly. <laughs>